Alright guys, so I wanted to add a quick intro to the start of this video, um, sort of going over the current condition of, you know, one of the friends of the community, one of the, you know, Dokkan creators in our community here at Gotcha Talks. Um, Gotcha's currently going through a medical battle. Um, I guess apparently Gotcha did pick up COVID, um, and there is a GoFundMe set up. Um, if you guys want to, you know, feel free to help Gotcha Talks out. Again, this is one of our own, one of the members of the Dokkan community. Um, any support would definitely help Gotcha Talks, his family, and his mother out. So if you guys can support anything at all, I know it would definitely very much help them out. So uh, I'll leave a link in the comments below, um, and I guess we'll get back to the regularly scheduled uh, Dokkan content here. Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're going to go ahead and take LR Namek Super Saiyan Goku into the gathering of the God of Destruction. Now, um, this LR Namek Goku is definitely ridiculously powerful, one of the best units in the game. I think initially in fights, he's not going to be as good defensively as I would like. Um, I do have him fairly highly link leveled. Uh, really, the only link he's getting that would impact his defense is prepared for battle. I think he'd be getting, what, an extra 1%? Because this is prepared for battle. He can get up to defense 5% if this was link level 10, right? Let's go ahead and hop in. Um, I think you could get away with Namek Goku type neutral, but it would be like as a, a, like a floating unit on the team, probably. Um, let me go ahead and take a look. The friend Namek Goku is also rainbowed. Let me take a look at what he is looking like here. All right, so the friend Goku is like link level 5 range. What about in terms of equips? Nothing really too crazy. Um, we do have an EX additional equip on him. Um, all right, so see, this is the issue with Namek Goku for me, is that I think like for like, you know, let's just say like his stake or his claim to being one of the best units in the game, I, I really would prefer if he was a little bit better defensively at the start of the fight. I, I think that's a little bit low. I mean, I guess Broly is not uh, too much greater in terms of that, but Broly is, like, clearly a defensive stacking unit, and I wouldn't say Broly is in discussion for best unit in the game, right? Like, that's sort of the one thing for me about Namek Goku. It's just his low defense at the start of the fight. I'm going to put him in slot one. The first two attacks by Catella will be nasty, but after he gets the two supers, I think next turn... He might be like 230k defense or something like that. He's gonna do at bare minimum two super attacks right here, right? Because remember, he does. That's ah, not too bad. I mean, this is why with type advantage, we could definitely get it done, right? Uh, type neutral, you're not running him in slot one type neutral, where it's like full power Frieza, as long as you don't get hit with a super attack, I think you can like run him in like slot one and stuff like that, right? Um, he has way more defense right out of the gate. The thing about Namek Goku, though, is that with all the additionals he does, right? Yeah, see, like a triple super right there is solid. So that's three defensive stacks right away, right? So, bam, now his defense, like, he could eat a super attack and we'd probably be, like, yeah, this is fine, actually. Um, Because, again, with the triple super, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. Um, and then Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So, you know, this Goku has got a ridiculous leader skill for, like, difficult content and stuff like that, like this, right? Um, Broly is not on the Super Saiyan category, but he is on Legendary Existence, right? So I was able to just slide Broly um, onto the team via Legendary Existence. Same thing with uh, Int UI Goku, who we also have on the team, right? He's on um, Legendary Existence, so we're able to just sort of slide him in here, Uh which is very helpful. I think both Frieza and Goku have very strong leader um, abilities, right? Um, I think Frieza needs a little bit of help. Some of the Dragon Ball Z villains could be a bit better to help his category out, but like that's one that's going to age well, I'm thinking. Um, Okay, so I guess we'll... What is my Goku looking like defensively? 144k, so a little bit higher. Um, I think it would be in my best interest to do this right here. Now, again, I do want... Uh, to get the 12 key. I'm not going for the 18 key. Should I? I'm tempted. Let's... Let me go for it. I I'll go for it because this is good. We have two Rainbow Gokus, right? The first one I sort of was prioritizing his defense. This one, let let's just go ahead and prioritize his offense, right? Um, again, for the most part, though, when it comes to difficult content, I really do think you do want to be just spraying off... Um, 
uh, 12 key super attacks with Namek Goku, right? I don't, I don't think aiming for uh, 12 key supers is what you want to go ahead and do. Or um, I don't think aiming for the 18 key supers is what you want to go ahead and do, right? Yeah, I see 27k. Like, we would have done much better right there. We could definitely eat it. Vegeta could eat a super attack right here. Um, and we're going to transform with UI Goku next turn as well, aren't we? Oh, a super attack would do actual nothing. Now that Vegeta double supered like that, beautiful. That GT Vegeta is just so crazy. This is why I like him a little bit better than GT Goku, is I think he's a little bit more versatile. You could run him on teams, and it's like having GT hero units does not really matter as much, right? Goku needs that for that defense, right? His damage is great, but Vegeta's defense is still clutch regardless. This is perfect. I think I'm going to just do this, right? Let's take advantage. 266. That's pretty good. So that's how, after he triple supered, his defense basically went up like 120,000, right? Now on this turn, I'll give him a couple of more um, 12 keys and he's gonna be looking pretty good. But see, that's the thing between this Goku and Full Power Frieza. I feel like, uh, no, I don't wanna, I, I, we'll, we'll do this right here. I feel like with Full Power Frieza, right? You very easily can like get like 266-ish like, right away right like you, you could start the fight pretty much around that territory um having that third form frieza around on most of frieza's teams in most of his situations where you can run them together is ideal again this goku if there was like goku did not get like a partner like frieza got from this celebration to really help him out right like, yeah, he's got good linking partners. And, like, you know, people will be smart asses and, you know, they'll try and take stuff I say, like, and twist it. <laughs> he doesn't have partners. What about AGL LR Gohan? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run AGL LR Gohan in this situation, aren't I? Oh, of course. Type disadvantage in the God event. He'll do oh, triple super. Now, remember, um, Goku and Frieza, they can quadruple super attack, by the way, in slot two and three. Um, if you get lucky with the hidden potential system rolls, which we might have right here. No, what do we get? Three right there? But they can quadruple super in slots two and three. Um, you could see that from both Goku and Frieza do have the um, capabilities of doing that. Honestly, I feel like Namek Goku is looking pretty good here, though. Um, right? Like, we're... It, it definitely, when it comes to, like, the God event, like, we're able to utilize his amazing leader skill to really build a team that can very easily crush this. Now, this is a perfect opportunity as well for me to complain about go both Goku and Frieza's uh, active skills, right? Like, uh, Catella's under 30% HP or right around it now, right? But guess what? There's nothing I can really do about that. Um, damn it. No, I think I can... I... Yeah, we're good. I can... I can do that. Can I super attack with both Gotenks and Goku? Yeah, I can. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. I want to super attack with both Gotenks and Goku. Um, it really would have been nice if you could actually utilize their active skills. Like, I, I, I think, you know, one enemy under 30% HP, whatever, right? With no turn restriction, maybe you get super lucky and see that early in some, like, super battle road fights if you get, like, ultra lucky or something like that. Um, but it's going to be very uncommon to see it in Super Battle Road. Um, but the fact that the enemy also has a class restriction is just, like, soul-crushing for how often I think you're going to see these abilities. I, I don't think they're going to be very common. I think it's going to be a fairly rare occurrence. All right, so one super attack. He's still taking damage. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about, right? Like, his defense is a bit low. I... As, like, a LR that just came out, like, I type advantage, rainbowed. I really don't like that he's not even taking double digit damage with one super attack, right? One defensive stack by him was not enough. Um, but with multiple, will be a little better. Now, at the same time, though, this Goku, right, has been super attacking like crazy. Yeah, so, like, now I could just, I could rock him in slot one very comfortably. Um, is this, this is a no item run. I think we're done. I think that's GG, just casual no item run, right? Like, it's like, if you're utilizing Goku smartly, um, he's a god. And I will say this, I will always talk about how insane the attack stats that Goku and Frieza get on their 12 key super attacks are. It's so nutty to me how much damage they're doing on 12 keys like that. They are blitzing the damage numbers you would see 
from UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta on those 12 keys, right? Although, if you get additionals with UI Goku and Vegeta, they're guaranteed crits, right? Um, this is going to do nothing because he's supered so many times. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Pretty good. What, what turn is this? Like turn five or six? Not bad. Um, this was a very impressive performance by Namek Goku, all things considered, right? I, I think this was pretty good. I mean, sure, it's type advantage, but, I mean, we still very casually just walked in here and no item did. Like, again, pretty easily. Uh, Namek Goku is good, man. Um, I definitely think he's better than Evolution Blue Vegeta. I, I probably would, like, just off of his raw, like, attack set numbers and the way his defense can build... Like, I, I would probably put him above units like STR Vegito, STR Broly, Tech Gogeta. As far as Goku goes for me, it's really only Frieza and UI Goku I think I like in front of him. This guy's good. Um, I, You know, the only downside besides his shitty conditions all over his kit about extreme class enemies, which hurt him in a lot of events, um, is uh, just his low defense turn one right not the biggest fan of it you really want to start getting a lot of supers in before his defense is good and it's like i really value highly um characters that could go in turn one right and when it comes talking to like the best unit in the game class like i would really like them to just sit there slot one taking the brunt of the punishment right away and just be good right so i don't know I let me know what you guys think. I was actually very impressed with Namek Goku's performance here, though. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.